Hey Aries, this is Ascension Empress with your love reading for the rest of June. Thank you all so much for your patience. Ooh, I love the look. Spirit been coming through, okay? Thank you for your love, your support. Thank you for booking with me. I am extending the solstice special, so you can check out the information below. It will be extended until the end of June. And you are still able to send the payment first, but please email me immediately after okay don't tell me you're going to email me after and then you don't okay because i'm going to refund you all right so if you received a refund that is why all right so welcome if you are new may peace and blessings be upon everyone please like share and subscribe take what resonates with you leave the rest all right we're gonna get into it y'all and see what messages we have for you and love interesting the world card has been coming out for a lot of the signs okay a lot of people are wrapping up in cycles okay there's a completion stepping into new chapters cutting out that toxic energy which is a perfect time okay we do have this full moon in capricorn coming up in a couple of days and it's strong it is strong i'm feeling it already um but i am excited okay cutting out that toxic energy check out sagittarius's reading because i really do feel like that is a nice little precursor to this full moon in capricorn that's coming up and what it is that we need to release you know the devil all right so we're gonna see what messages we have let's see what we have going forward for my aries Ooh. what is this look at that ten of cups i love it okay so i feel like I feel like some of y'all are in the energy of, like, you cut your losses in the past, okay, or you can, you're considering a new beginning, a new chapter, being in a new world, just new energy as well, but with this Three of Pentacles here, I feel like now there's some planning, okay, there's some strategizing, some networking, um, collaboration that may be going on as well because now with the ten of cups going forward there's happiness there's fulfillment uh not just you but i'm also getting your family as well okay so whatever it is that you're planning for i do feel like y'all are being um very strategic and very mindful and you're you've done your research or you're doing your research as well okay all right let's see what messages do we have underlying the reading what messages do we have i'm also hearing comparison all right look at that you got the king of cups underlying the reading and the magician card and the moon wow wow okay that is very interesting again some of y'all may be manifesting with the moon i definitely see that here okay some of y'all could be dealing with a scorpio cancer or pisces I'm also hearing, oh, so this Cancer season, which makes sense. So, yeah, the Cancer season, the Cancer new moon, and this Cancer opposition with this full moon in Capricorn. Well, I'm feeling like it's actually a great time for y'all, okay? Because that's that 4th house, 10th house energy, you know, home, family, stability, what is comfortable, what is private versus public reputation reputation what you earn your status your career okay and i feel like y'all are manifesting something new something more fulfilling something satisfying um on an emotional level okay hmm very interesting let's see what messages do we have overlaying the reading what messages do we have overlaying the reading for my aries yeah i told you somebody's doing their research okay taking the time to reflect and review even pull back their energy there may be a separation at this time a lot of signs are going through separation right now okay i feel like somebody's going within reflecting on how they want to move forward how they want to attain this happiness this fulfillment hmm let's see what do we need to know about this three of pentacles what do we need to know about this three of pentacles spirit why is it here Ooh, we i told you got the tower card here Whew. Brand new, breaking it down and building it all the way back up. Okay, so there is some very, I can't, I can't even find the word for it. It's careful, okay, some very careful planning. Okay, some of y'all may, I, I'm pulling on this. I'm getting the Scorpio energy, okay? When they had an energy, they had this reading, secret plan shocking someone, okay? 
and there's something here some of y'all may have scorpio on your chart okay or you could be dealing with one i'm also getting virgo energy as well yeah something isn't quite clear or may know made known to everybody when it comes to plans but it is going to be shocking it is going to be shocking with this tower card um but somebody is also remaining faithful and emotionally stable when it seems like everything is falling apart okay I do see something somebody's going to have to review finances okay or I'm getting support when it comes to finances or being financed is what I'm getting something around a home situation with the tower card here but it is I man I'm getting something is definitely being broken down but it's about to be built back up so beautifully so beautifully with the ten of cups going forward what else do we need to know about this tower and this three of pentacles energy spirit yeah see yeah there's some contracts some of y'all are meeting with people hmm this is interesting y'all but y'all have had that energy of moving forward, actually moving, ready to make a move. Things not being quite clear yet. But y'all are staying optimistic and realistic is what I'm getting. Very realistic. Okay, planning for the possibilities of things falling apart. Okay? If you don't plan to fail, you or if you fail to plan, you yeah, you plan to fail is what I'm getting. Look at that, yeah. Okay, legal documentation. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I see a lot of signing going on. I'm getting meetings happening here with the Queen of Swords. Okay, somebody's becoming very clear. If something wasn't clear, if there was something secret going on when it comes to this moon card. Oh, yeah, I remember having that energy with y'all a few, I don't know, it wasn't a few months ago, it was some readings ago, though. All right, and. It was around watching a child, be mindful of a child within the home, okay, reflect, because somebody, somebody, somebody's not being honest about something, but I get with this Queen of Swords, it could be you or somebody else, they're about to gain the clarity, they're definitely about to gain the clarity or something's about to be communicated as well. Let's see, what do we need to know about this hermit energy? What is this reflection and this retreat spirit? Wow. Holy. Hermit energy, nine of wands. Yeah, there is definitely separation here. I'm also hearing regret. Someone is contemplating over leaving about leaving something behind, okay? Or whether something is worth fighting for or if they should just let it crumble is what I'm getting. If somebody was entertaining a third-party situation, it's causing a tower. It's, def it's definitely causing a tower, and then someone is going to be communicating that this is not that going forward. Mm -mm -mm. What would you like my Aries to be aware of? This is an interesting reading, y'all. Let me know how it resonates with you, okay? Look, see, I love it. All right, be aware. Be aware that y'all will be restored. Okay, I'm also hearing stay hydrated. With this King of Cups here, that's interesting. Okay, I feel like y'all are going to be feeling so renewed and refreshed. Okay, maybe over some, a, a connection, an offer that you're receiving. I feel it has a lot, this Ace of Cups has a lot to do with the planning that you're doing. I, I, that's strong here, this planning, all right? Be mindful of your judgment. Please use your discernment. I'm getting to consider not only your happiness, but everyone's happiness. I want to know what this moon is here for. Let's clarify. Spirit, what is this moon here for? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. something is just okay so if something isn't quite clear to you and it that energy alone doesn't sit right right with you it's i'm hearing it's not gonna last long okay but also this queen of swords seems to be communicating that 
secrets and I'm also hearing vague energy it's just it's, just, it's not gonna work it's not it doesn't interest you it doesn't interest her this is not what we want going forward okay someone is not interested in this false yeah this false reality was being presented to them was being offered so be mindful of things that are not that's what it is it's not being forthcoming with this moon card especially when it comes to contracts okay what else would you like my Aries to be aware of? What it, see, page of wands. Something is all, it's not out, it's not what it's all cut out to be. Which is interesting, I said cut out, you got the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is cutting out offers and anything that is not clear, that does not have any transparency. Because it looks like y'all doing y'all research, and that's why y'all able to call out and, you know, see things for what they are. Okay. Also, be mindful of reaction. I'm, I'm again be mindful of children. Is what I'm getting here. And I remember in that reading, someone commented like they had a lot of fear around their comment. Like, what are you saying? Are you saying something's happening to my kids? Da, 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 da. Like I said, y'all, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Use your discernment. Stop trying to take every message that's not for you. Okay. That, you know, comments like that make me think that people spend way too much time depending on readings and other people's opinions and interpretations, and they don't take enough time. They abandon, look at that, they abandon this, this hermit energy, taking the time to self-reflect. Okay, with the nine of cups here, look, I said nine of cups, with the nine of wands here. And choose to be in this victim-like mentality and, you know, be, being very defensive and everything. Just like, no. Just be aware. Use your discernment. And why would you ask me if something is happening to your child when I said pay attention to your child and watch your child? That'll tell you yourself. Okay, I'm just the messenger. Ooh wee. All right, so let's see. What messages do we have? Any other messages you would like my Aries to be aware of? Any other messages you would like my Aries to be aware of? Look, see? Look, I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so Sagittarius got the energy, too. Okay, as their overall message, too. And that reading was nice, y'all. So definitely check it out if you feel like it or if you have any Sagittarius or you're dealing with one. But I feel like the way you make decisions, the way you are going to be planning and moving acting going forward it's unmatched it is unmatched nothing will be able to get past you okay especially with this moon energy and this four cups okay because you're not you're not easily swayed by anything you know everything just doesn't interest you i'm seeing the seven of cups you know it's not here but it's like someone presenting you with these options and you're like that's all gold plated. Ain't none of that gold, gold. Like, that's just. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords is going to know and say something and speak up. Okay, so somebody could be feeling some type of way that you actually are the type to sleep on it, to do your research. You're like, oh, I'm going to sleep on it. And now look at this person feeling they don't like that. They don't like that at all. But that's a huge sign. Okay, and he's like, oh, you don't want me to sleep on it? You don't want me to reflect over it? Like, you want me to hurry up and make a decision like that? That's a red flag. Okay, so be mindful, y'all, especially if y'all are about to be signing any type of contracts, um, again, doing any type of planning, all right? So let's see, what else would you like my Aries to be aware of? See, yeah, success. Success, victory, and moving, okay, especially if y'all are moving. Ooh, what is overall message? This is so straightforward. Overall message for my Aries. I'm so excited for y'all. What is that? Look, Knight of Swords. I told you, people trying to come in fast, fast talkers. You know, you, you may have a lot of information coming at you, but I'm getting, stay in this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? Don't let anybody try to sway you or anything rush you fast talk you none of that one more overall yep see you see you better stand in your power aries that's you 
that's you you write the rules you make the rules you make the decisions okay just because you're seeking help and information and you know doing your research doesn't mean that they have the final say doesn't mean that everything they're presenting to you is all that you have as an option no okay so some of y'all gonna have to show up like this like um i do this too okay so don't try to get over on me because i do feel like somebody may be trying to get over on you especially with this moon card in the four of cups okay so y'all gonna have to show who boss definitely because it's clear as day here all right let's see what is the overall message overall moonology message for my aries two cards here wow the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and capricorn in two days y'all what did i say okay and then emotions are running high <laughs> so yes people are you know I'm, I'm getting that five of swords energy they want to win at all costs they whatever ain't no rush it's no rush do you aries okay the decision is yours okay because especially if you're moving whatever it is that you have planned this is what you have to live with okay this is your happiness on the line why would you rush in to be making a decision just because somebody else's emotions are high? Just because they want to fast talk you and they want the victory? No. Ooh okay, so that's your reading, you all. Thank you again so much for all your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. You can send a payment first if you would like, but please email me immediately afterwards. Okay, take care, you all. Bye.